Hi, Eric Schoenfeld here with TechCrunch TV. I'm with John Frankel and David Tetton of uh, FF Venture Capital. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So you uh, have a very successful fund that you started in 2008 uh, that was one of the top, top returning funds uh, by some metrics, and you recently closed a second fund in uh, last November. So tell us a little bit about those two funds. Um, so we wrote the first fund, FF Blue, we raised in November 2008, two months after Lehman blew up. So um, it was fun raising that capital. I, uh, the small $6.5 million fund? $6.3 million mm -hmm. fund. Okay. Um, and the second one? The second one is a $27 million fund. We closed November 2011. Okay. Um, whilst we were raising the money, we were also deploying capital out of the fund. So uh, we actually have 23 companies in the portfolio already, mm -hmm. um, four of which have had up rounds. And so we think you know, performance actually looks like it's accelerating at the moment. And what, was, what were your returns on your first one? Um, well, with, using uh, prequent data, it was the best performing U.S. fund in the country with um, uh, a sort of high 40s net internal rate of return. Okay. And, and that, that's compared to other seed funds or venture funds or everything? Uh, every venture fund in the country. Okay, terrific. Well, congratulations. Me median returns are slightly negative. So what are, and just tell us some of the companies in your portfolio so we have a sense. Um, I'm going to upset my CEOs, the ones I don't mention, but uh, ones people heard of will be companies like Game Salad, Live Fire, Clout, 500px. Um, those are, those, are, those are some of the more consumer-facing ones. Phone.com uh, is another one. And so are there themes that you guys invest in? Do you invest in big data or enterprise versus consumer? What are you looking for? We David? don't think about the world by themes. Uh, I'm new to VC. I've just joined this side of the table in the middle of last year. And what I've seen is a lot of VCs say, this sector is hot, therefore I'm going to find a company in that sector. We think that's not a healthy approach. If the sector is defined, it means there are already some players in it, so you're probably investing in player number four, mm -hmm. and someone else has defined it and is going to take the lead. Our approach is the people who know the most about the growth sectors of 2017 are the entrepreneurs. As they come to us, we filter them and identify the ones that are really promising with the promising industries, and then we'll invest in them. It happens to be that internet companies have great economics, so we're very happy to invest primarily in the internet companies. But our mandate is invest in where there are growth opportunities, which will produce great returns for our investors and, of course, for the entrepreneurs who have most of the equity. So your, your, your first filter is the, the people. Yes, our teams drive our themes. If you, if you look at our website, ffvc.com, you can actually sort our portfolio via mm -hmm. location and via theme. And you can see we've got big exposure in social and SaaS and the like, but we didn't start there. We didn't say, hey, we need to get you know, a dozen social companies in the portfolio. So let's take one example, Clout, right. uh, Joe Fernandez. Right. What, what did you see in him that made you want to invest in him? Um, well, I mean, Joe, Joe's story, which has been repeated a number of times, is, it's a pretty amazing story. Um, he had his mouth wired shut, and he needed to communicate with people, and he started to say, you know, social networks, that's the way I'm communicating with people, but how do I know this person from this person? Mm -hmm. And he took the Google's PageRank algorithm, applied it to Twitter, and came up with the initial cloud scores. A lot of people saw it as a Twitter analytics company mm -hmm. and said, hey, do I really want to invest in that? What we saw was the potential for a company to help people by the middle of this decade to really understand their online footprint, you know, what they're doing on Facebook and Twitter, mm -hmm. et cetera, normalize that data, and allow people to understand and then manage their online footprint, their personality, their, their online public identity. Mm -hmm. um, and we felt Clout could grow into being that company. So more than just perks and something that uh, brands uh, use to I sat down get with, in touch I, with uh, consumers? Uh, I sat down with Joe, um, gosh, uh, back in April. Uh, 2010, and we laid out 18 different business models, and we decided mm -hmm. Perks was the first one to focus on. And uh, so your uh, your new fund, you already have 20, 23? 23 companies. investments. How many companies will you have uh, total in that fund? We're targeting about 30 to 40 companies. We think that's the right diversification so you're half for done. private markets. Well, half done, yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll probably... We could be done by December this year for new investments and then in new you, companies. Then you reserve for follow-on. We've reserved significantly for follow-on. It's a 10-year fund. Mm -hmm. 
and we like to front load the capital to give it the opportunity to compound. How far can you go uh, in, in terms of following on in, in terms of Series C, Series D? I mean, at a certain point, it gets pretty expensive. Right. Right? Um, Somebody raises a $50 million round or a $100 million round, it's going to be hard for you to... We've invested way beyond that. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the way we look at it is on a risk return basis. So it's risk adjusted. You, you, buying Twitter at a billion dollars might have been a great investment. Mm -hmm. Okay, so final question is, uh, do, you, do you see any difference between the investing style of this group of seed investors who've grown up uh, in, in New York, um, you know, uh, IA Ventures just, just uh, closed a $100 million fund, um, also has a pretty focused approach versus uh, what I see, uh, uh, you know, mostly on the West Coast, you have funds that uh, take... Um, you know, more of a, they have 60, 100, or even more companies in their funds, um, hoping, some of them hoping for sort of a, a big home run, some of them having different different philosophies on uh, what what they need to, to have a return. We, we try to combine uh, a lot of operational experience. We really help our companies. We get involved, we're not mm -hmm. a passive check. And that's one of the reasons why we have the number of companies we invest in with really understanding how to structure a portfolio. So we think if we're too diversified, we can't be top decile. The more companies you invest in, the tougher it is to not get the median, not to have the median return in the industry. Now, in the angel space, median returns are better than VC. Mm -hmm. But in VC, median returns are flat to negative. Angel is better, and top quartile is much better. The, the, the dispersion of returns in private markets is much wider it is in, in uh, public markets. And so being top decile in the space, you can generate um, pretty good returns. And, we're, and that's, that's, that's what we're trying to do for our investors and why we're very sensitive about fund size. Okay, well, thank you very much for coming. And uh, you know, FF uh, Venture Capital, it's a venture fund to keep an eye on.